guys, uh, today we're going to be unboxing one of the more affordable smart bracelets out of the market and it's the B57 smart bracelet, also known as Hero Band 3 uh, from other countries. So I'm not really sure who the manufacturer is or what really is the brand of the device but from research I saw that it could be sold under different brand names. As you can see, I actually purchased two of them. One is the gold variant and the other one is the black variant. So we're gonna be unboxing the black variant here. So this is the box and as you can tell, it kinda of tries to imitate the Apple Watch. So let's take a look at the quick specs. So device type, it has a TFT LCD screen and has an NRF5283 processor. I haven't really heard of this chip being used in a phone or a smartwatch before. Uh, display has 1.3 inches with a resolution of 340 by 240 uh, pixels. And then you have a touchscreen display. Obviously, it's a smartwatch, but as far as I know, the touchscreen part is only at the bottom. But we'll find out later. Uh, you also have different sensors here. You have the three axis sensor for motion detection if you're checking the time on your wrist. And you also have the green light heart rate monitor sensor. Uh, waterproof rating is IP67, so it should be dust, uh, dust proof and uh, pretty good for the typical uh, Bluetooth version 4.0. And it's compatible with Android 4.4 and above and iOS 9 and above. One thing that's not on the spec sheet or the spec page here is the battery, uh, which I believe is 180 milliamp hour. So it should last you for maybe less than a week or so, considering this is a this is a colored bracelet or colored panel. So let's take a look at what's inside. So you can pull it off the box here. Set that aside from there. Then you have the manual. Oh, there it is. Fitness fitness tracker, tracker. user manual. So yeah, it's typical paperwork that nobody reads. And then here, covered in plastic, is the actual watch. Here. Oh, this is what it looks like. Great. There you go. Looks neat. I mean, it, it kind of resembles the Apple Watch. If you kind of, like, even the band itself, they try to copy Apple Watch. If you can pull this off here. The, the feel, though, you can tell it's plastic, but it's more on the premium side of plastic things. And this, the screen, and you have this indicator here. As far as I know, this is only included in the plastic. If I peel off the plastic, which I'll do now, the white, yeah, the white circle actually goes away as well. So it's a completely black screen, very nice looking panel. You don't see any, like you don't distinguish, let me zoom that, let me zoom that in for you. You, you don't see, you distinguish the, um, the screen from the, from the glass panel at the top, but the screen actually covers just about this part. So, what else is in the box? Let's put this aside for now. I haven't really... Let's take a look at the... Oh, okay, the charging cable. So, it looks like a, a pin with... Kind of this prong. Yeah, it's a two-pin charger which should connect here. So you're kind of charging it up, like upright. So, something like this. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And it plugs in via the regular USB port. From what I read, it's actually going to turn on by itself if you start charging the device. So I'm going to go ahead and get a charger. And let's start charging. And we'll also see the, the charging indicator for the device once it's plugged in. So I think I heard a clasp there. Nope, nope, I missed it there. Oh, there it is. Okay. There's an indication that it's charging, and at the top, you're gonna see the notification light. It's not breathing though, it's just a stable light indicating that it's charging. So I'm gonna give it some time to charge, and we'll get back to it later on. All right guys, the device has charged up, and it initially has a lot of charge in it. You just kinda of have to plug it to a charger for the device to turn on. So this is what the default watch face looks like. And you can tap on the bottom part of it, as I told you, the, the middle part of the screen is not really touch screen, it doesn't do anything. The bottom part is like the entire space at the bottom. And as you can tell, the screen is just a little bit on the center with a huge bezel at the side. So this is the default watch face, very uh, reminiscent of what we can find in Apple Watch. And as you can tell, it has the time, oops, 
has the time, has like the steps, the sleep, and the activities monitor here uh, that gradually fills up in a circle as you uh, go through your goals. So uh, to navigate, you kind of like to tap this at the bottom part, and you can see there are a set of items at the bottom that you can navigate through. Different of them. It's pretty responsive though. It's it's great, uh, great feel and smoothness on the in the OS. And to go through the specific data of each page, you kind of have to long press it there. So it shows you the exercise or the activity, and then you have the steps for the day, and then you have sleep. You can kind of change these settings through the app that you can download from the market. Um, and as I've mentioned, this is also known as the Hero Band 3. So if you go to the Play Store, you're going to find the Hero Band 3. All you got to do is just install this. So before we test the app, I just want to see how it feels in the hand. I'll probably get more shot at these while I'm reviewing this. So you guys can see uh, what it looks like once you're able to attach it to your wrist. So it is kind of wonky. It's weird, but yeah. Let's probably put it not on the tightest spot, just so you can see. There it is. It feels pretty, yeah, it feels great. Uh, looks very premium though. Like if other people see this, they might be asking if you're using an Apple Watch or something like that. It feels premium and it's great. So let's test the app if it can actually connect. It's going to ask for three permissions. Number one is to access the files of the device. The other one is the location and the other ones to be able to manage and make phone calls. This is what it looks like on the main screen. So uh, my device is not yet connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and one sec. Go ahead and click to add. And then it's gonna say, this is what I mentioned that you're gonna see the, the Mac address here. You can kind of hold your device to see and compare if they're the same. If that's your device and go ahead and click it, it's going to add your device. And it's gonna show the Bluetooth icon at the top to indicate that your device is connected. So from here, uh, you can kind of change a couple of things. So, there. You can change the watch face. It's pretty neat. I think this is really looking good. Like a premium watch. There. Like a premium watch. Let me revert back to this. This is kind of looking okay. I was inspired and all that. So uh, there, you can change those watch faces here. So I'll review that in an upcoming video or I'll cover that in an upcoming video. So let's take a look at what we can find on the, f on the watch itself. So I'll just show you really quick how to connect here watch to the app. With the watch itself, you have about nine or ten apps available. So this is the counters for different activities. And by the way, when the screen turns off, it doesn't default to uh, like the face watch. It stays where it was. Like if you're looking at this and the screen turns off, the next time you lift the watch to your wrist, which I'm going to show there, it shows the same exact data, which is pretty good. Like if you're exercising and whatnot, it doesn't keep on going back to the default page. Uh, you have the heart rate monitor, which to measure, you kind of have to long press at the bottom there. And you can see the green sensor starts flashing and it says, please wear good and try again. It's probably, I'm not, I'm not wearing it on my skin. I haven't really tried, I haven't tried this, but we'll see if it's actually a good heart rate sensor. Um, blood pressure, weird, but sure. SpO2, you also have exercise. Um, weather, like if you, hold on, you can see the, the weather for the coming days. Messages, uh, camera shutter, you have music player, or player control, sorry, this doesn't store any music. Uh, you have settings as well. Oops, look at this. And you have your timer, uh, you have your mute, which is weird because this is ha doesn't have any speaker. Brightness, which is something I would like to modify. And like what I mentioned, you just tap to change the selection and the screen. And once you're good, you can kind of long press that. You have the reset, shut down, and back. So I'm going to go back. And that's it, back to the watch face. So I'll be wearing this starting today. And it's available in different uh, colors of the band, like what I mentioned, and to show you that once again, you can get it in black, white, gold, blue, green, red, pink, and let's see, silver.
and great. Right, so it doesn't really cost much. It's a little under $20. In this case, I bought it for 800 something-ish pesos. So it shouldn't really break the bank, but you're getting a really sleek looking device. I'll be testing this for the following days and putting out we'll be putting out a full review of the device. Let me know what you guys want to find out about this smartwatch and I'll include that to a review. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe. This is my first review video of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.